how to add video to Hostinger website builder. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add your own video to your Hostinger website uh, in Hostinger.com. So the process is going to be very easy. You are going basically here to have some embedded forms or let's say not forms, but embedded format of videos that you are going to be integrating in case that you do not like the a video embedder that we have into the Hostinger editor, but we are going to bear with that. We are going to head over Hostinger.com, sign in for an account, and from here we are going to select the websites, and then we are going to select websites lists. Now we are going to make sure that you are going to use the right uh, Hostinger website builder by checking up the icon in here. This is the right icon. If you are going to see a icon that has a letter W. It is not going to be the Hostinger, but it is going to be the WordPress. And you are going to have here click on edit site on the Hostinger. Now, once you are going to do that, you're going to get your website ready in just a few seconds. This is how fluid and uh, very quick is the response of the um, builder of Hostinger. Now we are going to scroll down a little bit and we are going to start adding the video. Now I'm going to show you multiple methods. So I'm going to add a section. So we are going to have here multiple methods. The first method is going to be consisting of having a blank section. Add in from the elements here a video. This is how simple is the first method. So you are going to embed a video or have a video like this. This video is going to be embedded. So you are going to click on edit and then you are going to see that we have a video link and you can upload a video but it is going to be here having a hoster that is going to be uploaded to that video like Google Drive, YouTube, Vimeo, or whatever. So this is the first method. You can go ahead and select the settings for the autoplay, loop playing, or showing the video controls. That was the first method. Now the second method is going to be adding a embedded code, like an here, an embedded code. I'm going to add an embedded code, and basically we're going to click on enter code. I'm going to select all of the code in here, delete it. And I'm going to have, for example, the video um, or YouTube video player from YouTube. This is our channel in our YouTube uh, channel, of course. So we are going to have here this video shared. I'm going to click on share. Then we're going to click on embed. As you can see, we can change the frame width, the height of the frame, and also the video link. So what can I do here is to copy that specific, as you can see, um, code I'm going to copy it and we can also have it in here so I'm going to paste that code click on embed code and you're going to see your YouTube player in here so we can make it a little bit wider or a little bit like this so it is going to be here sticking to the uh, setup um, lengths and also stroke so this video will be playing as soon as we click on update uh, website but we are not going to make it play now let's head over the um, second or the other method, which is going to be consisting of adding a specific section that will have some video elements. We're going to scroll down a little bit on these sections. We're going to have here video. We are going to have a single video shower or showcaser. And here we have two or a side by side video showcaser. We have a presentation for a video explainer, And also we have a lot of galleries. So you can add one of the galleries and click on edit video, add the link, for example, of that YouTube video, for example, we can add the YouTube video of ours, and then it will load up in just a few seconds. Basically, you can have the same parameters and also upload from, for example, um, Google Drive or whatever. Also, you can have some uh, third party apps or um, websites like Pixels or Pipic to have some videos. So we can choose one of the videos. These are going to be copyright free videos. Uh, so we are going to select one of the videos and we can copy the link of them. So I can copy the link of this one, click on edit, and then I can put my, uh, my video from here. So normally the URL is going to be valid, but it is okay. So basically you have this as set up. So basically that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.